So you have a vacuum. Just a few explainers on the Starmix. Some of this will also apply to other vacuums. But on the Starmix you have here, you have numbers and a small and large. So if you depend on the size of the hose you're using, here we have a 35 mil ID. So I'll turn it around to here. And then I can turn it between here and here to have variable speed on my um, vacuum. And again, if I'm on 27 mil hose, I have variable speed. When I'm using the vacuum, as standard, I'll have it on AR. AR means that when I'm using the power tool, the filter shake also works. If I'm using IR, I can use it as a vacuum and still have filter shake. If I'm having it on auto, I've got the vacuum starting and stopping, but no filter shake. So if I'm working in a sound sensitive area where the noise of the filter shake is too loud, I can just turn it onto the A setting and the vacuum will start and stop, but it won't have a filter shake. Just have to be careful there because you need to have a, a physical check of the filters to make sure they're not getting blocked. Next thing, I'm working away and the red light comes on. The vacuum is beeping. With any M-Class vacuum, the vacuum will have a light and or an audible signal to let you know when the airflow drops. This is for the minimum requirement of 20 meters a second for M-Class airflow. On the Starmix itself, on the end of the cuff, you have a air inlet. So you can, if you're using a um, Starmix or any other vacuum for that matter of fact, on a machine such as a sander, jigsaw, some angle grinders, where you're restricting your airflow where the um, vacuum is sucked in, where the dust is sucked in, you would then just open the air inlet on here to allow enough air to go into the hose to allow you to achieve your minimum airflow. That is why this is a staged adapter on here so that you can just adjust and regulate your airflow so you're not letting too much in and meaning that you're not having the actual extraction where it's needed. It is not unusual for the light to come on with some machines and, and with some machines the airflow is restricted to such a point that you can't actually stop that light coming on. There's nothing to be concerned about. The main thing is that it's not on all the time on every single machine. That's why you do have this adaptability here. The other thing also, just to be sure, is you have a instructions here on how to set the valve on the inside of the inlet to a fleece bag and to a plastic bag. You need to make sure it's in the closed position for fleece and open for plastic. That's because if you're using a plastic liner and you have it in the open, it creates a vacuum behind the liner and sucks it to the outside of the drum to prevent that liner being sucked up to the filters and telling the machine um, or the machine thinking that you've got blocked filters. So if your light does come on, nothing to worry about, but firstly just check, one, you've got the right hose size for what you're doing, two, make sure that your filters are clean and the filters aren't blocked, which is reducing your airflow, make sure that your inlet is set correctly, and then make sure that you've got, you're allowing air in on the inlet, if that is um, provided on the vacuum that you're using. So that is a simple quick check for just testing to make sure that your vacuum is set up correctly.